everyone thank you for stopping by spirit of me 11 11 it's your girl stardust 11 11 here to do your forecast love and finance reading for the sign of pisces for august 2019 pisces is a water sign so this reading may also resonate with the cancer or scorpio as well as water is your element thanks to everyone who's been liking sharing and subscribing my videos and to my channel you guys are so legit and awesome thank you all so very very much um, the turnaround time right now for those personal private readings is about 24 hours um, to 48. I will be emailing you back with that reply response, letting you know. Again, thanks to everyone who's been getting those personal private readings. Um, I'm having a really awesome time getting to know everyone, sharing these different energies and stories, and it's really amazing. Thank you all so much. So, I always tell you guys that tarot is timeless. These can be events that have already happened in your life that are currently taking place or that will happen for you all here in the near future, Pisces. So, tarot is gender neutral. You guys are welcome to reverse the genders here, your kings and your queens, and vice versa for my tarot card readings. So, without further ado, Pisces, let's get right into your readings, my lovelies. I'm using the Beautiful Creatures Tarot by J.R. Rivera. Really awesome illustrations here. I love the artwork of these cards. They're so awesome. So I've been using them now for a couple of months. So um, for my readings, for those of you who'd like to know. Um, all right, so let's get going for you guys. Make sure my mic is on. Yes. So here, what do we have for the sign of Pisces for August? 2019. King of Pentacles. You start off with strong earth energy. King of Pentacles. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And the King of Pentacles is a court card. So that is a person. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, the King of Pentacles is loyal. It's someone who's probably an entrepreneur. It's someone you can trust that you can invest in, be it time, be it money for business. And, um, you can really trust this guy. He's loyal. He's a loyal partner. He's a loyal business partner. He's um, someone who um, stands in his own right because he's the king of pentacles. So he's well established financially, well off, and um, probably is in business for himself. Um, self-employed type of energy with the king of pentacles here then you go right to the queen of cups this is your energy pisces queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces water energy the, this is your intuition the water signs is about the water right the flow the ebb and flow of water of your feelings your emotions the water represents our emotions so um your intuition is really on point here um with you showing up for your own reading as yourself right then you're in love with your person. I'm very smitten. The Queen of Cups is someone who's probably working in the healthcare field, be it nurse, CNA, RN, LPN, phlebotomist, um, whatever it is that you do. You're caring for someone, a nurturer, a provider, a caretaker, um, be it mental health or physical health, okay, for some of you Queen of Cups. And you're sometimes you put a lot into people more than they will ever put into you. And that can cause you to become obsessed with your own emotions. So I'm getting so far from your two cards, your two court cards, right? That you have love for a earth sign, someone that's stable, that's loyal, and that's in your life. Your energy and reading is surrounding around this person. So we got seven of wands next. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So the seven of wands is about bravery. It's about standing up for yourself. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So you're in a position that you have the upper hand in right now, right? With these seven, um, seven of wands, but you have to stand your ground. You have to put your foot down and be about what you're talking about in your situation. Um, what that is, I'm hoping to get more clarity as we go here until you're reading Pisces. So then we got two of wands. It's about decisions. You have decisions coming up in your life. You're needing to cut something or someone um, either in or out with the wands type of energy. But um, you know your situation, right? It's just that the, the two of wands, it um, precedes the ace, right? So it's like you're going right into the next level, the next phase here in your creation and your creativity and your business ventures. Um, as far as work goes, it could be a very new start of a relationship. So you have a couple of choices to make. Being brave, having to stand your ground probably is going to require for you to just make that decision that's um, 
a good decision for you at the moment. It can't really steer you in the wrong direction as much as it can knock you off the course of something that could be out there that's better for you. I hope that makes sense because it's just the way that I got it. <laughs> so, all right. Then we go into the page of cups. Water energy. More water energy. Pisces. Um, so this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The Two of Cups is about um, inventiveness, right? Um, with the page, I think I said page. I thought I heard Two of Cups, but I'm sure I didn't say two. <laughs> I hope I did So anyway, Page of Cups. Your person is wanting to apologize. Um, this is someone who's very new and very green in love and a love situation has that innocence about their self and the situation uh, missing you honestly missing you having that heartfelt connection and missing you wanting to come and apologize with that page of cups type energy so you have an apology coming your way from your person okay it could be another water sign it could be your fire sign or it could be that king of pentacles that earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn then we have Eight of Swords. That's air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is about imprisonment, self-imprisonment in your mind, creating that mental prison in your mind from the way you're perceiving the situation that you're either in, going into, or coming out of. So it's all up to you what you choose to do with it, how you perceive it, and if you let it make you or break you, let it make you bitter or better moving forward. You need to understand that it is just the way you think about it and the way you see your situation. Rethink it, go within, cut yourself out of this mental prison you set up for yourself and face your fears. It's about seven of wands. It's about being brave, bravery, facing your fears. What are you afraid of? Everything that you want in your life, the goodness that's out there for you is on the other side of your fears. So I'm going to get clarifying for you guys and see what Spirit has to say with your clarifying cards here from my Manga Tarot deck. One of my favorite decks that um, I have in my possession. I don't use it often, but these guys were calling out to me today, so they wanted a little bit of attention over here. And Spirit and me, 11 11. <laughs> so, again, guys, if you need the personal private reading, all of my information is down below in the description box. Um, don't forget to comment in the comment section. Let me know if this resonates for any of you. And um, moving forward, thank you all so much. I'm very responsive to comments, and I appreciate each and every last one of you to my cross watchers. Hello. Thank you all. And you're always welcome to my new subscribers. Hello. Thank you so much. And to my ones that are already subscribed. Thank you, guys. I love you so much. Thank you. So, Spirit, if we can clarify for the Pisces here for their August 2019 love and finance reading. We would really, really appreciate that over here, Spirit of Me. I love it. So, a couple more shuffles. And let's get clarifying for you guys. And depending on the way clarifiers come in, it's going to determine what Oracle deck I choose to close you guys out for your reading. Wonderful water sign of Pisces. I have Pisces in my charts. So, hmm, we got the chariot. <laughs> I told you, Page of Cups, that is an apology coming. Your person is like missing you, thinking about you with the Eight of Swords and well, coming forward with that apology for you. Five of Pentacles, feeling out in the cold. Um, then we have the Nine of Wands. Ace of Coins. And I have the Six of of wands and I usually don't take five clarifiers. I was just in my zone feeling myself and I put an extra one. So we have the five of pentacles here feeling like out in the cold. Um, this is earth energy, Virgo Taurus and Capricorn. So I'm looking at it that you're feeling out in the cold um, about your situation, probably your person. Uh, five of pentacles can be um, poverty stricken. You can just be really down in the dumps right now about your finances, about things not going your way. Um, and that chariot energy is your person. Um, this is more water, okay? This is cancer, cancerian energy. And what it means is your person or you taking control of the situation and moving forward. Um, that two of wands type of energy, making your decisions, facing your fears, being brave enough with the seven of wands energy working for you, Pisces, being brave enough to take that chariot type of stance and energy and move forward take control of your situation and balance out the polarities of everything that's going on in your life and around you because that's life there's always going to be things going on in your life and around you all the time right and just moving forward and continuing on right 
Then you have your nine of wands. So it's like when you feel like giving up, when you think it's all over, when you're at your wit's end, per persevere, stand up, be strong, and keep going and moving into your greatness of that that you want. And know that the universe supports you because you have an ace of coins right after that. Nine of Wands, you have your Ace of Coins here. It's an awesome, awesome card. This is strong Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm really thinking you're dealing with an Earth sign when you have your Ace of Pentacles here with your King of Pentacles. This guy wants to come and give you something really, really solid, a solid offer. For some of you, your King of Pentacles is taking chariot stands, taking that control of the situation, knowing exactly what he or she wants and is coming towards you with it. And it's going to present that in the form of an ace of coins type of establishment. That's a happy family life. That's finances. That's good health. That's the start of everything that you want to live your best life. And that's coming to you. You have that energy on your side. Then you have six of wands. So I can't tell you again how awesome your reading is today. Six of wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and it's about victory, recognition, <laughs> a job well done. Give yourself a pat on the shoulder. Congratulations. But just know that those around you have also helped you and took part in helping you get to that Six of Wands type of energy. This could be an offer with your person that's coming through in the form of the Ace of Coins, and it's going to make you feel like, you know, you're the victor. You've got what you want. Okay, and you're going to be happy and celebrate your moment. And then, like I said, for some of you, it's already happened. And for some of you, it's coming into your life. It's coming into fruition. So again, congratulations. I'm going to get you all a Romance Angels card. Um, maybe a couple Romance Angels Oracle cards over here to finish off your reading, Pisces. <laughs> your reading is really nice. I like it. I like it for you guys, for your audience. That's pretty neat. <laughs> all right. So, Spirit, if you will, beautiful, beautiful romance angels, you can get some cards to clarify my August 2019 reading for the sign of Pisces. For the sign of Pisces, August 2019. For the sign of Pisces. Thank you all, my loves, for tuning in, for stopping by, for clicking on my video. Don't forget that button notification is going to show up. Just tap that in the video to subscribe to my channel. And also, I'm going to be linking your July, which is the current month still, your July's reading in here with your August. So if you want to check out your July reading, then you just click it on the screen when it pops up there. And then we'll be coming towards the end of my video. Okay. Now let's get a couple of cards for you and your connection. And your message from the romance angels you deserve love you are lovable you deserve love the universe and your angels are just saying that cupid's on his way like that angel with a bow and arrow she's taking off she's shooting that arrow off there that's your ace of coins you deserve love it's coming to you something solid something tangible your king of pentacles is loyal he comes with something solid structured and tangible like the earth sign that he is he's all about being grounded and bringing stability and something tangible that you can hold that you can trust that you can adore and wow that's awesome <laughs> so wedding <laughs> <laughs> okay guys wedding you can't make this up i can't make it up you cannot you cannot wedding this situation involves marriage something tangible your ace of coins your king of pentacles wow that's what's up <laughs> get out of that five of pentacles energy and just get up and realize help is closer than you think you deserve love raise your vibration to match that queen of cups try to vibrate with that ace of coins type of energy that's coming your way thank you all so much namaste